the video, giving you a little tour of the neighborhood. This neighborhood actually has a lot going for it. A lot of the stuff that I wanted to see, it's basically like a 10 minute walk away, right? There's actually a lot of hotels, hostels, where you can stay. I'm really excited that at some point, I'm probably gonna come back to Salta. Hello everyone, welcome back to Salta, Argentina. We're out here on the roof of our apartment where we're staying, right across the street from beautiful Parque San Martin. And this is actually gonna be our last video from here in Salta because tomorrow we are leaving. We're leaving the city of Salta and we're moving on. But as I always do on this channel, wanted to make our last video from here in Salta a video giving you a little tour of the neighborhood and letting you know what I think about it. So come along. Thanks for clicking on the video. If you wanna help out the channel and help it grow, I really would appreciate it. Click on the like button down there, the subscribe button and the little bell next to it to be notified for when new videos drop. It really helps the channel grow because it's gonna help the YouTube algorithm recognize this content and spread it to other YouTube viewers. If you'd like to support the channel monetarily, I would appreciate that as well. You can leave a super thanks by clicking this thanks button here and give a small donation to the channel. I appreciate your support. So back to the video, enjoy. So this neighborhood, first, to let you know where it is in the city, of course, it's right across from Parque San Martin over here, which is over on the east side of Salta. And this neighborhood actually has a lot going for it. I'm not sure exactly what the name of this neighborhood would be. Um, I think maybe just like San Martin, because it's near Parque San Martin. It's close to, um, a couple of other like neighborhoods that I do know like it's definitely close to Centro El Centro actually is that way like west of here maybe like five blocks over west and then two blocks two or three blocks north and you're right there in Centro um, but actually if we walk down here through Parque San Martin where of course we visited before we've seen Parque San Martin in a couple of previous videos here from Salta one of them like the second video that we made from here in Salta where we just explored the whole park. And then also in uh, the video right before this one, the video about El Milagro, the celebration of the miracle here in Salta where this looked very, very different, of course. There were like tons of uh, like vendors set up and stalls. There was a whole like concert stage set up over here um, because, you know, huge, huge celebration that happens every year in Salta. But here, uh, this neighborhood, I would say, I enjoyed it quite a bit. I'll say that right off the bat. Um, I like that it is close to Centro, but not in El Centro. It's very similar to, uh, let's see, Barrio General Paz, where we stayed in Cordoba, a neighborhood that is not exactly right in the center of the city, but it's close enough that you can walk to it. But you don't have to stay right in the center where there's tons of traffic and um, like lots of people, lots of foot traffic, lots of pollution and stuff like that. So it's sort of a nice, um, happy uh, medium between being close to Centro but not being exactly in Centro. And of course, in this neighborhood you get this great park that you can come and walk around in like everybody's doing today on a nice day. One of the other bonuses is this street right here. Avenida San Martin um, is like this major through street that runs e uh, west through the city and because San Martin right here Parque San Martin is a major landmark and down that way like two blocks is uh, not just the Teleferico station to get up to San Bernardo Hill like we did uh, we did in our what third video that we made here uh, but also, like another block over, is the bus terminal. So the way Salta's laid out is the bus terminal is over there all the way to the east. And the road that runs past the bus terminal actually runs south and then turns and goes all the way out southwest to the airport. So it's a major road that runs from the airport all the way up to the bus terminal. And then it continues north all the way up through Salta and connects with the highway that like runs a ring around Salta and the highway that goes off into other parts of the province. 
So basically, that intersection that's right down there is like one of the major, major intersections of all the different roads in Salta. So because of that, there are a ton of bus lines that run along this street and stop along this street. There's bus shelter right there, and there's bus shelter right here. And not just where these bus shelters are, but like in between where you see the bus shelters, there are other bus stops. So basically like every, pretty much like every line of the city runs through here. It runs along either San Martin or it runs along Santa Fe, which is the street that um, is up here. So yeah, being close to the bus terminal, being close to that intersection back there of the two like major roads in the city that connect the bus terminal to the airport and to places further north in the city and also being close to Centro, you know, like five or six blocks away from Centro, puts you in an area where there's just like every bus line runs through here. Any bus line that you need to catch to anywhere in the city, you can catch it from this neighborhood. So that's really nice. And Salta, unlike some of the other cities we've been in, unlike uh, Rosario, and Cordoba, and Buenos Aires for sure, like the other cities in Argentina, Salta's a little more spread out. Uh, there's not, it's not as dense as some of the other cities. There's not a lot of like high-rise buildings except towards the center. Um, there's a lot more like low-rise buildings. And because everything's so spread out, you do have to walk a little bit further to get to um, the things that you want to get to. Like in Buenos Aires, of course, like you can walk like right around the corner in any direction and you're gonna be at like a little supermercado or a cafe. Like everything is gonna be, like in most neighborhoods is gonna be like within one block away. Everything's super, super walkable. And that's not to say that like, it's not walkable here in Salta, it definitely is. Like, for example, we've walked, you know, a block and a half. If you block, walk another block and a half over that way, there's a Vea supermarket, like a big, um, big, big supermarket. So, like everything you need is pretty much in the area. There are a few like kioscos around this neighborhood, like the little mini markets. And unlike the kioscos in uh, like Buenos Aires, where they really just sell like candy, drinks, and cigarettes, and stuff like that. These kioscos are a little bit bigger. I would say they're more akin to like supermercados. They'll sell like deli meat, and some, some of them sell vegetables, fresh vegetables and fruits and stuff like that. So you can definitely get to what you need to get to. And of course, like I said, because you're so close to Centro, if you really need something, you can walk, you know, five or six blocks over to Centro and over there there's like everything you need so the neighborhood like most neighborhoods that we stay in um, is is walkable and there are things uh, within close walking distance of you you don't have to walk too far to get to anything that you need in fact now that we've made like a loop through the park up here on uh, oh hello puppy <coughs> He was excited to see me. Oye, amigo. Right up here, there's a, a little like resto bar, restaurant slash cafe on this corner. Pharmacy on the opposite corner here. And like I said, if we go up, maybe a couple blocks north this way, and then over, take a left and go west for about five more blocks, we'll be in Centro, in the Centro neighborhood, which it was really nice being able to walk to that neighborhood. It's like a 10 minute walk. That's kind of what I like about this, this um, neighborhood that we're staying in. A lot of the stuff that I wanted to see uh, around here, it's basically like a 10 minute walk away, right? 10 minute walk, you're in Centro. If you walk north 10 minutes, you're up um, by the Alta Noah Shopping Center, this big mall up there, and also um, the stadium, like there's a big stadium up there for the, for the uh, soccer team. And also up in that direction, about 10 or 15 minutes north of this neighborhood, was the uh, monument to uh, Martin Miguel de Güemes, 
that we saw in the video that we made about Martin Miguel de Güemes. And also up there, right next to that monument, is the base of the steps that lead up to the top of San Bernardo Hill, in case you, you want to hike all the way up there. I didn't. I took the teleferrico up and I walked back down, which I still maintain is the smart move. But this neighborhood, the way it's located, there's just, you're within 10 or 15 minute walk of pretty much all of the like major attractions that you want to see in Salta. There's stuff that's a little further away, but of course for that, you can take one of the city buses that runs through the neighborhood, very easy to catch. Um, and because you're like right next to the uh, omnibus terminal, so the bus terminal where you can get like micros, so buses that run from here to other cities and to other towns around here. Um, like if you wanted to go, for example, a little bit further north of here, maybe about an hour bus ride away, there's the city of San Salvador de Jujuy. And if you wanted to go maybe an hour, two hours south of here, there's the city of San Miguel de Tucumán. And so, being right here next to the uh, bus terminal, in this neighborhood, you don't even have to catch like an Uber or a cab or a city bus to get to the bus terminal. You can literally just walk like two or three blocks and you're right there, which is really, really nice. So as we head up here, we're gonna be about two blocks north of where the apartment was. And as you can see, the streets are very nice. Like, it's a pretty clean neighborhood. Um, it's also a pretty safe neighborhood. I definitely walked around this neighborhood um, at night and didn't feel unsafe really at all. Especially because just in general in Argentina, people stay up later. You know, dinner in Argentina, like I've mentioned, I'm sure in previous videos, is at about 10 o'clock at night. So when you walk up through these neighborhoods, there's still a lot of people walking around uh, late at night. So you don't feel as unsafe like I have in certain other places in South America. There's some neighborhoods where it just like, everything shuts down at night and the only people out on the streets, there's like very, very empty streets. So you feel a little isolated and a little unsafe when you walk around those areas. But one thing I wanted to point out here in this neighborhood, which is kind of cool, it's not really like a tourist attraction that you can tour or visit, um, but it's right here. And it's the uh, convent. Cut across the street here. This convent is the convent of San Bernardo, right? Named after the San Bernardo Hill over there in the distance. And this is actually a functioning convent. There are actual nuns who live in that convent. And uh, it's been there since like the 1700s. It's super old. It's one of the oldest buildings in Salta. And it's right here in this neighborhood, which is uh, it's kind of cool. Like I said, because it is a functioning convent, you can't really go in and tour it. It's not, uh, it's a historical monument, but it's not really like a museum or anything like that. But it is kind of cool that it's here. And um, in the mornings, you can actually hear the bell ringing the convent very early in the morning, actually. But because the apartment's, you know, two or three blocks away, it's not super, super loud. Um, we actually stayed, funny story, we stayed in, a, in Cuenca, Ecuador, in a hotel, actually, that was in Centro. And like a block away, there was a school. And man, they would ring those bells. <laughs> they would ring the bells at the school, like super early in the morning. And there was just no sleeping through it because they were really, really loud. Not like that here. Anyway, if you can see out in front of us here, that uh, steeple of the church, that is the uh, Catedral Basilica de um, San Francisco. That's the old uh, church that we saw. It's a 18th or no, 19th century church from the 1800s that we saw in like our very first video that we made here from Salta. And uh, if we keep going this way past that church and like one more block over, basically in Centro. And this neighborhood right here at the sort of like at the edge of the Centro's like commercial district. So 
even in this neighborhood just a few blocks away from where we were you start to see um, a lot more shops cafes and things like that around this neighborhood it becomes starts to get a little more dense so even though the neighborhood where we're staying over in Parque San Martin is not as dense if you just walk a couple of blocks you're already into like the uh, more dense commercial area of Centro so like I said a nice balance of being close enough to walk to it but not uh, not so close that you're living right in it nice little cafes like this one over here and another thing uh, that is pretty good about the central neighborhood but also like this neighborhood specifically right where we are that's like in the few blocks in between the apartment and the center center of centro is there's actually a lot of uh, hotels hostels places like that where you can stay um, which is really nice because for a lot of people obviously like they may not be able to find an apartment like I did um, and you may just be staying here just for a few days and you want to stay in like a hotel or a hostel there's plenty to choose from um, around here in this area I've seen a lot of them I've walked past a lot of them some of them look really nice some of them look not as nice but you know you it's kind of a get you get what you pay for situation as you can see a little closer to centro here starting to get a lot more density of shops and there's here's one of the hotels right here that we're coming past this is the hotel caseros and most of the hotels will have a little restaurant which is nice they'll have the uh, menu ejecutivo right the uh, like fixed price menu for lunch just like in Ecuador where we were previously the Argentina around here in a lot of the cities they'll have a daily fixed price lunch menu so you can get like um, a cheap but filling hearty lunch in most restaurants and a lot of the restaurants that are like in the lobby of uh, the hotels around here so it's really nice I think we can walk down to El Centro here and then we can loop back towards the apartment and finish off the video starting to get close to El Centro now and another good thing about this neighborhood if you know I mentioned there's lots of bus lines that run through very easy to catch a bus but if for some reason you don't want to take a bus or there's no bus going to where you need to go and you need to catch like a taxi or an uber of course because the neighborhood is like you know it's very centrally located it's close to centro it's close to the uh bus terminal and the teleferico to go up to san bernardo, san bernardo hill um for all the reasons that it's easy to catch a bus it's also really easy to catch a taxi um, or get an uber there's lots of ubers usually circling around the neighborhood it's very easy to get and taxis i see them all over the place um, through that neighborhood and the neighborhood sort of like um, in between here and Centro, like on the way to El Centro. Now, one of the things to note for any tourists who are coming to visit here in Salta, the taxis here are red, which is different from pretty much every city that we've been to so far, where like in a lot of cities in Argentina, the taxis are black with yellow, or the taxis are yellow uh, with black. In, I think, one place we went, they were orange. Isn't that right? I don't know it's hard to remember it honestly at this point we've been to so many cities it's kind of hard to remember what the taxis look like but for here for sure the taxis are red and here we are coming up on this corner here to plaza nueve de julio there's one of those red taxis going by right now plaza nueve de julio the central plaza of uh, salta where we have been a few times for different videos where we saw the uh, ceremony of El Milagro in our last video and where we visited in our very first video here from Salta. There's another one of those red taxis and another red taxi. Many, many red taxis. Now, I think one of the other things that I liked most about this neighborhood, staying in this neighborhood, it was that there is like, other than in 
Parque San Martin itself, there's a significantly less foot traffic. Um, that's kind of important in uh, this city, in Salta specifically, because um, Salta is an older city, the Centro neighborhood, and the neighborhood sort of over towards where we are is an older, um, they're older constructions, right? And so like in a lot of older cities in Latin America and South America, you get these very narrow sidewalks like this. This was something that we noticed in Cordoba, in El Centro, and some of the other, like, like Cuenca, Centro, some of the other centers, the old part of the city, the sidewalks are super narrow like this. So you're always kind of like bumping elbows with people, having to like walk in the street to get past people. And uh, it gets a little, a little sketchy sometimes when there's a lot of uh, car and automobile traffic when you have to like walk out into the street. Um, not something that I'm super fond of. Unlike uh, some other places we've been that are cities that are a little more um, modern, that were developed during a more modern era, like Rosario, for example, which was mostly developed in the mid to late 1800s and early 1900s. And then also like uh, Mendoza, where we were here in Argentina, because of the massive earthquake that like destroyed most of the old city. When they rebuilt it, they rebuilt it with these big wide sidewalks. So um, a lot easier to walk around and get around. But that's just a little minor nitpick about this neighborhood, right? Like a little minor nitpick of the fact that like the sidewalks aren't really that wide. If that's the most that you have to complain about in any neighborhood, like it's a pretty good neighborhood, right? <laughs> I think so. And I, and I think this neighborhood is that. It's a pretty good neighborhood. I quite enjoyed staying here in this neighborhood. And, you know, for the reasons that we always enjoy staying in certain neighborhoods. And I'll be honest, the, uh, I already kind of know now when I'm picking out a neighborhood, what I'm getting into, right? It's really good because when you go online and you're researching what neighborhood you want to stay in, you can very easily tell, um, especially here in Argentina, what neighborhoods are going to have what you are looking for and what neighborhoods aren't. Going on Google Maps is great. Looking at different uh, locations around the neighborhood to see, like, is it near supermarket? Is it near a lot of bus stops and bus lines? Let's get run over here. Let's head down this way, actually. It's very easy to tell on Google Maps, like, uh, to get the information that you need, especially in Argentina. I've mentioned this, I think, maybe in a previous video, but one of the things I really like about Argentina is um, in the cities, when you go to different cities in Argentina, the uh, public transportation info, as far as like where the buses are, where the bus stops are, what the schedule is and when they run, it's like very accurate and very up to date on um, Google Maps. When you put on the public transportation layer, and you do directions for public transportation, very, very up-to-date and very accurate in Argentina. It is not always the same in a lot of countries. Some of the other countries we visited, um, like, it, it not as good. The information is just not as accurate, and in certain cities it's better than others, but, like, some cities that we've been to outside of Argentina, the information is basically just like non-existent or whatever information is there is so out of date that you just you might as well not even look at it and you just have to sort of wing it you have to go to a bus stop and ask the people standing in line like hey does this bus go to this place um but not here definitely not here in argentina and definitely not here in salta the information that i got on public trans schedules and stuff like that for uh, all the different places in the city was super, super accurate. That's really, really good because, you know, when you're new to a city and you have no idea where you're going and you're just trying to figure out how to get somewhere using public transit, it's really nice to have that, uh, like the assurance that the information you're seeing is accurate. But anyway, we are back on 
uh, Urquiza Street, which is the street that the apartment is on. In fact, you see ahead maybe two or three blocks where there's no more buildings on the right and it's just trees. That's because that is Parque San Martin. And that's back where the apartment is. So as we're getting back a little bit closer to the apartment, and we're a little closer to wrapping up this video, um, I just want to say our experience here in Salta, I really enjoyed it, man. Like, everywhere I'd been in Argentina, everybody had told me, like, you got to go visit Salta. And it's interesting because there's kind of a, a bit of a rivalry in every like city in Argentina, you know what I mean? Like, well, there's definitely a rivalry between like Buenos Aires and every city in the rest of the country. Um, but there's even rivalries, you know, like between like people from Cordoba and people from Rosario and people from different cities, you know. There's this sort of rivalry between them and man, I don't know, every everywhere I went whether it was Buenos Aires, or Cordoba, Rosario, Mendoza, everybody just said, oh, you gotta go visit Salta. Salta's beautiful. Go up to the north and visit Salta. And so that made me think like, man, maybe I really do have to go visit this place. And after I have, after we visited here, man, I'm really glad that we did visit. Glad that we listened to all those people because it really is beautiful up here. Another thing I'm glad about, honestly, is I'm really glad that we visited when we did, which is like basically right at the end of winter and the beginning of spring, because it's already kind of warm um, now here in Salta. And I can only imagine how hot it would be um, if we came here in like the middle of the summer. I think back to when we visited Mendoza, which I enjoy quite a bit, but man, it was blazing hot. It was in the middle of a heat wave and it was like 100 degrees Fahrenheit or like 40 degrees Celsius like every day, two weeks in a row, two and a half weeks in a row is brutal. And I can imagine that that's what it would be like here in Salta because Salta is in the high desert climate, just like Mendoza. Um, it's close to the Andes like Mendoza, very dry, sort of arid, but it's also further north, meaning closer to the equator, meaning I would imagine hotter during the summers. And some of the people I've talked to around here like have told me, yeah, <laughs> it's hot in the summer here. So I think visiting when we did uh, in the month of September, in like the very end of uh, winter and the beginning of, of the springtime here in Salta was kind of like the perfect time. So if you're choosing to come visit Salta and you're not sure exactly when to come, I would suggest coming around this time because man, it was, it was really beautiful. Um, every day was warm enough that you can walk around without like a sweatshirt or a jacket or anything. And at night, it got cool enough that like, it wasn't like really hot in the apartment when we were trying to sleep. Which I think is really, really nice because honestly, like sometimes when it's just blazing hot, um, it, it stays hot enough overnight that it just never really cools down and that wasn't the case when we were here so good time good time to come visit and uh, another thing unfortunately here in Salta we weren't actually able to see as much as as much of the things here in Salta that I wanted to see mainly because like when we got here man I was like sick I was sick for like I don't know like a week and a half probably just no no leaving the apartment at all. Just staying in the apartment, being sick, not going anywhere, not filming anything, not seeing anything. And that kind of sucked. It's a bit of a bummer. That's why there's not as many videos from here in Salta as we usually do in most cities. In most cities, I try to shoot for a minimum of like eight, um, eight videos, eight or nine videos. And here, I think we're only gonna end up with seven which is okay because honestly we got to see a lot of very cool things got to have a lot of great experiences here in salta and i guess having you know only seven videos means it gives us a reason to uh want to come back at some point 
and visit here again, uh, visit Salta, which I would do in the future for sure. Because like I said, I really enjoyed it. Really, really enjoyed my stay in Salta. Here we are, back across from Parque San Martin on our right. We're on our block, just up here. About half a block is the apartment. So I think it's time to wrap up this video. And like I said, it's the last video from here in Salta because we're gonna be moving on. We're gonna be leaving Salta. We're gonna be going to another city. Now, originally, my sort of thought process, my plan was that after Salta, we were gonna leave uh, Argentina and go visit another country. But I recently made the decision that I am enjoying Argentina a lot here, this, uh, this visit. And there's a lot more that I still want to see here. So we will be leaving Salta, but we will not be leaving Argentina. In fact, we're going to be going back to a city that we've already visited twice now. <laughs> we're going to go back for a third time to Buenos Aires and just see. There's just so many things to see in Buenos Aires that we haven't yet seen. So we're going to be heading back there. So next time we see you, we will be in the capital of Buenos Aires, Argentina. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you enjoyed this little tour around the neighborhood where we've been staying here in Salta. I hope you enjoyed all the videos from Salta because honestly, I really, I really enjoyed making them. I enjoy staying here and I'm really excited that at some point, I'm probably gonna come back to Salta and see a lot more stuff. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.